Hi again, welcome to another video. And on the bench today, we have the Lambretta engine. I haven't done anything on this engine for well over two months. And the last video that was out on it was uh, fitting the gearing. Well, since then, I have done the clutch, which will be this video. Uh, but I've got it out now to carry on with it, to do another video or two, and then we'll get it back on the scooter so we can have a start up. But from now in this video, you'll see me fitting the clutch and a few other little bits and pieces. So we'll get on to that now. That's ready to fit all the clutch bits back in. I have test fitted it just to check I had everything and I n remembered how it went really. Um, I did that without the springs in. So um, I took it all out and I'll show you exactly how it uh, goes now. So the springs go in there like that. I have put the engine uh, level so they sit nicely. Then we have this piece there. That fits in, they fit in on top of the springs. So I've got to make sure that goes in the right slot for that to work. Then I'm just gonna just nudge them springs into place. I think they're all okay. Seem to be pretty good. I'll just get a screwdriver and just make sure they are all sitting where they sort of should be. I think they're okay. Um, so now we've got the clutch linings to go in. So they have been soaking in oil for about 24 hours, what they recommend. So one goes in there. Then we have a a metal piece that goes in next. We have another cork one, goes in like so. Then we have another one of them. I want to line them up with where it's got to be pushed down because I've got a tool to push all this down afterwards. So now we go have another one of them. Another one of them. Looks to be okay. Then I have the last one of them, the cork ones. Try and get in the line the best I can. And then we have this final one here. And I did replace all of these. They're all new. The springs are, are reused though. But they're okay. So now this is the tool. I'm going to bolt it in place, it goes on the engine studs. So I'm going to do that off camera, then I'll show you me pushing it down, and then we can get this retaining ring in to hold it all in place. I've got that tool all in place, and I actually have just put a nut on there, just so it doesn't push directly onto the end of that piece of clutch. It's clutch spider, I think they call it. So I'll just put that there. I have put the retaining ring in because it you can I can't get it in afterwards, so I need to put that in now. Now I'm gonna see how well this pushes this down. If it's going okay, should do, made for the job. You can never tell. Might just have to reposition them as I'm going around, yeah, because it's sort of dragging it around a bit. First time I've ever done this, so you have to bear with me. They are gradually falling in, into place. That is there, yep. So they're actually all in now. You can see they're actually all in now, so should be able to just keep winding it down far enough for me to get that ring in and I think I'm there so try and get that in I'll try not to get my hands in the way too much 
bit difficult because it's going to be a reasonably tight fit to hold everything in. This is the original ring as well. Ah, oh, nearly in. But that is all okay. So what I'm going to do now is just gradually let that up. Just hold it there so it don't turn. And then when that comes up, should all hold in place. Which it has. I think that must be the way it goes. Everything seemed to go okay with that. So, um, yeah, the clutch side of things is done. What I'll do, I'll just take the tool off and then we'll have a look at that part before we get on to up that end. Because I have temporarily put the, um, the sort of drive cog that comes off of the crank on just to hold the chain out of the way. So we'll be doing that bit next. That'll be the next step. That part's all done now. It has got to have a little piece put on there, but I won't put that on at the moment. That's just where the lever sort of presses it. It doesn't press it on there. There's another little piece on top of that, but I'll lose that if I put it on at the moment. So I'll leave that off. Uh, and there is the bits on the outside of the engine to do, but internally that is done. Um, so that all looks good. Um, so next I'm going to be moving on to the other end of the engine where the drive cog comes off the crank so we'll get on to that uh, just before i get to that though uh the part that pushes this uh clutch in is on that outer casing the side casing which has a kickstart on i'm just going to get the drive part done which i'll just show you quickly up there um and then we'll get that back on and then everything should be good oh and we have got to fit this as well it's a tensioner so I'm not going to go with the original tensioners. This is the one I'm going with. So yeah, that's um, another job we've got to do before we finish this part. So yeah, all there will be is a tensioner, I think on this, internally on this uh, part of the engine, the tensioner and just sort out that bit up there. Now let's get the bits onto here. Firstly, we have this sort of washer piece like that. And um, that goes on first into there. I'm not sure whether I should put a bit of oil in there or not. I'm not sure. Uh, Probably be a good idea to put a little bit in there. Uh, I would go for grease, but I'm not going to, I don't think. I'll just put a bit of oil in there um, to start us off. I haven't put much oil in there, but I just put a little bit around that bearing because when this cap's on, um, I won't be able to do that and it'll just help it on its way to begin with. So that goes on there. The washer thing. Then we have this piece but that cog bit does come off of there but it is a little bit tight that is so that's another thing i'm actually going to just put a little bit of oil in there just to help that i've looped that bit up now so yeah that'll go on with this piece that's much better and i'm going to hook the chain on at the same time so by my hands but it's on there like that and then if you can see the little splines on the crankshaft, the end of the crankshaft, this just should <laughs> locate into there like that. Then we have this piece and we have them bits there and they go into them bits there. It just sort of locates into there. So Just 100% sure. Yep, that's all right. So then we have a big spring, which I've actually bought a new one of them. The old one probably would have been okay. It just looked a bit rusty. So I bought a new one of them. And then that's the original bit at the top. Now I'm going to put this spring on. That goes on there. Then this piece goes on top. And then a bolt goes through there. But I have to make sure that them bits locate into there as the spring is being pushed down with the bolt as the bolt's going in. Yeah. So I need that to go in place. Right, it's a little bit tricky this is because once the bolt's in, you can't see. Only from under underneath with a torch. So we'll have a go, but I might have to do this bit off camera. But I'll try and show you. Get the torch down here.
actually have got them in line now. So I'm sure it should just bolt down. There will be a torque setting for this, so I will do, do that. But it's definitely going down now. I had to just keep looking at it from underneath and just slightly undoing it again, as you probably saw, and just adjusting it a little bit until it sort of bolted down and located in place, which it has done now. That's all the tires I can go at the moment. I will put some uh, pull cord down the bore, the plug hole in there, and um, just torque that up. So I'll do that off camera. So on this part of the engine, that's the internals are more or less done. I have still got to put the chain adjuster in there. There's two bolt holes for it. And I've got this one. I bought this a while back. Uh, that's what it is, a Casa Performance one. Um, yeah. They've got good reviews. People people rate these, so that's the one I went for. Um, I have worked out how to fit it. Um, it's quite simple, really. Um, I'm going to take them two bolts out there, um, and I've got two little bolts down here to connect it to the to there. So uh, off camera, I'll just take them out to take it apart, and then I'll show you it going on. So now it's apart. That is the piece that bolts onto there, and I've used this bolt. Uh, it come with uh, two longer bolts, two like this, and two shorter bolts like this. But I've worked out I need one of each. So I've put a little bit of, just see it, a little bit of Loctite on it. And then that will just slide in there. I've got the washer on it as well. Uh, I'll put the tool in there. And then that will bolt onto there like so i won't go all the way up yet so that one's just nipped up i'll put this little one in now just put a tiny bit of loctite on that i put a lot on it And then I'm going to put that in the top one there. So them's tight. Well, tight. They've just got to be tight. That bottom one is tight. Just double check the top one. Actually, I can do it like that. I'd like to get a bit. Yep, that is tight. They're both tight now, and I'm happy with that. So then this piece fits in there, and you can see it actually works now. I'll just slide up and down on that. So I'll just lock tight to go in there. We don't really want these working off inside the engine. I'm not sure they would do anyway, but better to be safe than sorry. So we've got that in there. Do the other one. Get that in there. So that is how it works now. Just wind them down a bit. I go totally tight with them yet. Just a tad just so it moves. And then that's how you adjust the chain. Um, I think there's supposed to be, I've read this quite a few places, six mil. Um, play or sort of movement on the chain so that's what I'm gonna set it as um, I need to get something to measure the six mil 
and then I'll put it in. I'm not sure what part that has to be on. I'm just going to sort of go for there, that sort of area. I found a drill bit that is six millimeter. So I'm just going to put that in there, right on that spot there. I'm going to push that up tight. I could well be doing this wrong, but it seems like the right sort of approach to me. So I'm going with it. I can just seems to look okay to me that does that's what I'm going with so we will know um, when it all goes back together and runs some people's chains do actually I've heard go slack and have actually bashed against the casing well there's no way that's gonna happen on here you can see it's not gonna hit against that casing or anything so I think that's okay what I'm going with and I'll just double check them on this part I believe that is all done inside so yeah I'm pleased with that everything is back together um, new clutch in it new tensioner um, new bearings in it um, in the crank end um, some new bearings in the gearbox um, and some of them I decided to keep the original ones because I thought they were just better than the new ones and they weren't worn so I've replaced some and some I haven't and everything's had a good clean up as you can see it looks really nice and clean so yeah um this side is sort of ready now yeah I'm going to leave this part here so I hope you've enjoyed uh this part thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now